on this special flu-ridden episode of System Integrators Weekly. While the flu might be contagious, so is knowledge. So we're going to be talking about some of the stuff going on over at the Secret Shopper series that Linus Tech Tips is doing, and we're going to go over Origin PC. All that and more in this episode of SI Weekly. Let's go, nerds. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not feeling good, so that's what you get. Hello everyone, I'm Brea Thorne, otherwise known as Obi-Wad Kadobi. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what it would sound like if you had a cold. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling well. I'm getting over the flu. I'm over the hump. Uh, it was uh, it was tough streaming last week, but if you missed it, I did a build in the, the Y70 touch, and then I did another stream. Uh, I, I did a live build on stream, then I did another stream where I was testing the system in the Y70 Touch case. Um, we had it for launch, it was awesome. Thank you very much, Hype, for providing that. This episode, what we're gonna be doing is, I wanna talk a little bit about what happened with the Secret Shopper series, in particular with Starforge Systems. And uh, just 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 the series in general, because it was a huge inspiration to me, but there's also some inherent flaws to it that need to be addressed and then after that well i went to twitchcon and met some amazing people by the way huge shout outs to uh to nutty to gerard the completionist point crow harris heller dude but i was very inspired to talk about origin pc uh and potentially corsair vengeance pcs uh, because I got to spend some good quality time with the people with Corsair, Elgato, that whole, that whole conglomerate, you know. I'll get more into that when we get to that topic, though. Uh, for right now, though, I do need to let you know this video is sponsored by VIP CDK Deals. The best place to go when you want to get yourself an OEM Windows license to get rid of that annoying watermark and unlock all the customization Windows has to offer. So instead of paying well over $100 for a retail version of Windows, you can get an OEM key for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can use my code BRAY25 to get a nice fat discount off of the already discounted price. Keep in mind that this is an OEM key that gets attached to this system and cannot be used with another one or if you change your hardware. Make sure you get the right key for your operating system. For more information on how to use CDK deals, click the link in the description saying here's how it works and I'll walk you through the whole thing. Thank you, CDK deals for continuing to support the channel. One quick note, I wanna give you guys a quick update on the SkyTech uh, situation where we had the in the review system, the AIO with the pump at the top of the loop. Um, I've already heard from uh, Jeff, the CTO of SkyTech. He has said that those are going to start having the radiators top mounted as exhaust there. So uh, regardless of whether the pump is in the a CPU block or inline, like it was in the in-win AIO, uh, it's now gonna be, the, the, the radiator's gonna be at the top of the loop, no matter what. So win, that's good, that's awesome. That's what we wanted. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys that update. I'm even gonna get on a call with Jeff um, early next week, so we're gonna make sure to sort all that out. And uh, yeah, you can look forward to the full review coming out soon. You guys, one quick exciting thing I want to remind you of is that the giveaway for the Phoenix PC Siren that I unboxed and tested live on stream is live. And the, the, the link is in the description below, uh, or you can go over to my Twitter X or whatever the hell and uh, just go and join it there. But yeah, it's exciting. It's it's uh, it, it was a great PC. So be sure to jump on that and get your name in the hat for that awesome PC that I personally unboxed and tested and all that stuff. So go get it. Before we get into this, a few disclaimers. These are in every episode. They apply to every episode and you need to know what they are so that you don't fly off the handle for something that I completely covered in the disclaimers. First off, this video is being filmed for October 30th, 2023. Oh my God, 2023 is almost over. Stop. Any pricing and availability that you see in this video is very much subject to change. If you watch this a week later, a month later, two months later, but also watch my more recent stuff if you want more up-to-date information. Things in the PC world change very quickly. Disclaimer number two, you're gonna hear opinions. 
in this one and uh in all of them i always have opinions because i am human like you opinions are good it's good to have them uh not as good to fight over them but it's good to share them so please feel free to share your uh, dissenting opinions in the comments below or in the discord which is linked in the description below uh there's a whole channel just for tech discussion it's awesome we like that we like tech discussion so we made a place for it last one is that uh this is not financial advice i don't provide financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i don't tell you to buy stuff this is for the purpose of helping you get comfortable with pc technology uh, if you have information you can then make an informed decision and i'm not the only source for information but i am one of the only people on the internet specifically talking about pre-builds as a tech content creator on youtube so uh, if you want more info, I got more videos. This is like video number 90 something. This is episode 98 of System Integrators Weekly, which hasn't really been weekly lately, but shush, so it's fine. We're almost at episode 100. I have no idea what to do for that. I'll dye my hair or something. I don't know. That's it for the disclaimers. Now we need to talk about the uh, Secret Shopper series. So if you're not already a, uh, a, a subscriber of Linus Tech Tips, I, I would be very surprised. They are one of the biggest tech YouTube channels on the internet. But a few years ago, they started doing a series called the Secret Shopper series, where they would set a budget, they would purchase PCs from multiple system integrators, hitting every single aspect of it, as in like calling, having an inexperienced person call in to get recommendations, looking at what they got for their money, um, verifying everything came in, you know, it was shipped securely and that they got, they got what they paid for, then testing it to see which one, which one won. And that actually was when I was like, oh, it's a, there's a shortage for GPUs and I need a GPU. I'll just buy a PC from the winner of the last Secret Shopper series. Oh, I buy power won the first two of them. Wow. Okay. Then there was only two of them at the time. I'll buy one from them. And it turned out great. I then was like, I should tell other people about this. And then the series was born. However, we got to talk about the flaws in the Secret Shopper series and the flaws in reviewing pre builts in general. OK, I can say this as someone who does that for a living. Pre built reviews in the typical sense are not very useful if you approach it as just reviewing another tech thing. When you're getting something like a PC component, like a CPU, you can reasonably assume that most of the ones produced, because it's a single component, even if it's very complex, most of the ones on the retail shelf are gonna perform very similarly. Same thing for power supplies, graphics cards, single components, you don't need a big sample size of you just don't when you're talking about a pc you're introducing so many variables into that equation where any first off any one of those parts could have an issue um the person building the pc could have been having a bad day uh there could have they could have just slipped up on one thing and they may have built 99 perfect PCs and then the reviewer gets sent the 100th. What I'm talking about here is secret shopping, not about curated review samples. If there's a problem with that PC, regardless of how you got it, that is not grounds to be able to say empirically, you definitely should buy from them or you definitely should not buy from them. Now, there's another thing where I, I don't agree with them, including Starforge systems in this one. Not at all. Not one bit. The reason I don't think they should have been included in this one is because they already did a secret shopper on them. That was the whole PC review they did. They secret shopped a system and their review went well. The problem is I'm kind of seeing a trend of behavior with Linus when it comes to Starforge. And this is probably me maybe it could be me misinterpreting this okay but if you watch the most recent with well, episode two of the most recent secret shopper series there's a certain tone that's pretty it's 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 the line is tone the normal one but kind of jokey positive kind of thing 
going through all the other systems and they saved Starforge for last and his tone shifted completely. I would not be spending my money or my customer's money on cable mod cables. I know it makes for nice photos, but I just don't think it's justifiable. And even with um, the PC review they did, the tone was like, he would assume stuff like, oh, there's no, there's no double boxing. No, 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 no. You guys don't know what you're doing. You got a double box and blah, blah, blah. And then he had, they had to add a clip in of him later being like, actually, uh, we threw away the double box. Uh, yeah. Right out of the gate, I will tell you that they are not using mm, completely proper packing materials. Our logistics department informs me there actually was a second outer box, uh, but unfortunately, it's already been picked up. Either way, double boxing is effective for both improving the resiliency of your package and making it less likely to be stolen since apparently it was a completely nondescript box. So uh, good job, Starforge. Not quite as good as custom packaging, but a lot better than just counting on the case package. There's just a shooting from the hip kind of thing going on here. And I think it has to do with the fact that it's run by streamers. That doesn't mean that they're gonna mess around and not care about what they're doing for one thing. That's a lot of people whose reputations are on the line. We're staking their name in this company. And with streaming and being an internet person, reputation is kind of a lot. But the other side of that is it's not run by them. It's run by actual enthusiasts, actual professional PC builders. People actually know what they're doing. And I, I, I just don't like to see it when with no good reason necessarily. And yes, I know that they were there, you know, this GP was loose. I have received a system from an SI where the uh, PCIe lock, the tab popped off. Did I just hear something? What did we lose? Oh no, that's a PCIe lock. That's a bad sign. They put so much internal foam. Yeah, it's, it's not about that. It's about hard stops and sudden drops. You know, you can't account for that by just putting foam inside. You have to have an outside. I mean, but given that they're using off the shelf enthusiast tier cases, this is about the best way to make sure that no matter what case they're using, all the little gaps are gonna be filled in. You know what you do with that, right? You, you pop it back in or you ship the PC back to them. It happens it happens in shipping now that's enough about me griping about one of my favorite series <laughs> thank you I, I do want to say again thanks to all the people at ltt for being so welcoming so cool at ltx i am deeply sad that we're not having it next year but 2025 speaking of meeting people i had previously met the ceo of origin pc kevin uh yz uh, Waz, Wazi, Wazi, Wazi Lo, Kevin, CEO of Origin PC. I'd met him before actually, but uh, I got a really good chance to chat with him at, uh, at at TwitchCon. And of course, Origin PC, part of the, under the Corsair umbrella. So uh, Kevin actually was walking me around, introducing me to different people at like Corsair and Elgato and stuff like that. And it was super cool, man. That's, the, that's why IRL events are so, so cool. And it, it helped me realize though, for one thing, that I don't really cover Origin very much. And I don't feel like what happened in the Secret Shopper series was super fair to Origin. You might not know exactly what I'm talking about because they weren't in episode two. Because they were like, we don't have a PC for $1,500, which is pretty normal for Origin. Like it's not new, it's not unusual. However, here's the thing. If you look at the Neuron, it's $1,691 on sale right now. That is like right on the cusp of $1,500. And if you're looking for a mid-range computer, that's like $1,500 to $2,000 now. But I think that the budget should have been two grand for the, just in general. Because like, what is the use of not covering SIs that doesn't help anybody? If your list is narrowing of what SIs you can cover, that's not indicative of like them having a problem. It means that like the market's changing. Inflation is a thing and your series needs to evolve, including the budget for it. 
However, if that's a problem, why didn't they go with a Corsair Vengeance system? Yeah, it's $15.99. Cry me a river. $99 above budget. But then you can get a system from basically the same builders. Look at this. i5, 12600K, RTX 3060 Ti. 16 gigs of the Air 4 3200. Maybe it wouldn't have been the most competitive system there. It would not have been the most competitive system there. But you know the airflow would have been good. The build quality, every time I've seen a Corsair Vengeance review, the build quality is always lauded as being very good. It's a hugely missed opportunity. Now, I'm gonna say this straight up. Part of the fault for this lies at the feet of the person answering the phone over at Origin PC. And it's probably a policy to say, to, to not say, well, you know, if you're, if, if, if we understand if our systems are out of your budget range, however, why not kick it over to the Corsair Vengeance systems? Like the money goes into the same pot then. Not really. I know, I know it's different, but like that should be like, and I'm not trying to, to, to like give any ideas that'll give you guys headaches, but that should be something like handed down from Corsair, like, okay, hey, if they, if they're if they're if you're out you're out of budget for them, pass it over to Vengeance. Let's uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on past that. First off, we're gonna see what they're talking about, what kind of system we're talking about here. Uh, when when Origin PC says that the system is sixteen ninety one, uh, sixteen hundred ninety one US dollars. What are the default specs on that? Because you guys know I am very very adamant about having good usable default specs and not just putting whatever the heck you can in there to get that initial price lower to get people to click on it. So, by the way, wood paneling. Yep, that's that wood paneling. That's definitely a thing Corsair was doing and it even just has the Corsair logo, yeah. So we're looking at a, okay, a 13600K. That's good and DDR5. 32 gigs, Corsair Vengeance DDR5, 6,000? Hold on, hold on, and the Z790 motherboard. What's the GPU? It's a, it's a 4060. Okay, it's a little out of balance, but someone could totally buy this system with the intention of upgrading the GPU down the line. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Relax. You're already in the comments being like, that's too much money for a system with a 4060. That's not the only part in the system. The GPU is not the only part that matters. For those who are DIY savvy, none of this makes sense and it won't. You gotta agree to disagree and understand that it's just not for you. Now MSI Pro Z790P that they are using right here is not a high-end motherboard, but it has more than adequate power delivery to offer you all the generally all the performance you could want with a 13600K. Six performance cores, eight efficiency cores. You're talking about gaming, entry level content creation and beyond, not just entry level. DDR5 6000. 2x16 dual channel. DDR5 6000 mega transfers per second. And look at that. They even give you timings. So this would basically be DDR5 6000 CL40, then that's not the best latency, but still the overall performance of this is, this would have been a major contender other than the GPU. You can actually say, take your GPU that you already have and move it into this system. And it takes off 225 bucks. They're charging 225 for 4060? What? Okay, because these are all for 300 bucks for 4060s. That's a good deal on a 4060 on a working, warranted graphics card. Just buy it. Even if you already have one, set that thing aside as a backup. I mean, or freaking sell it, dude, if you want. Because you're paying less than retail for it. Now, if you want to push the, if you want to get a really solid boost in performance here for rasterized graphics, you could go with a 6700 XT for 174 more, okay? Or push it up to a 4060 Ti for 113. But I think, that this 4060 is a heck of a deal. But you do have a lot of options here. 307 to go up to a 4070. Remember guys, this is a boutique builder. Do not forget that. You're, you're genuinely on some of these, it's either at or below retail. I am mightily impressed with that. Now, what else are we not cutting corners on? Eh, Digital Storm, hmm? That's a one terabyte 
high performance drive right here. The Corsair MP600. Let's get more information. Learn more. Gen 4. Look at this. Look. Hey, Digital Storm. Look what happens when I click more information. I get more information. Mind blowing. To put a link, a little thing that's blue text that says more information and have a blank screen come up, amateur, dude. That is purely amateur. And that's what happened, if you don't recall, when I clicked on more information on the RAM configuration on Digital Storm's website. That was really funny, though, when it was like never outdated and it was like the picture was outdated. That was so good. Like, ah, uh, enjoyers of irony feasted that day. Baseline system gets a Gen 4 one terabyte M.2 drive, 5,000 megabytes per second sequential read speeds, 3,500 megabytes per second sequential write speed. So not the fastest Gen 4, but not the slowest either. Now, what does it cost to go to two terabytes? 59 bucks, $59 for the same speeds, two terabytes, 59 bucks. You can go with faster drives. There's all kinds of faster drives, different different storage amounts right here, eight terabytes, all that. Lots of options there. Plus you can get another storage drive as well with uh, all the same options as well. Power supply to throw in a 750 watt with a 4060. That's awesome to see. You can get more wattage for $27 discount right here with the RM850E series plus gold See power supply. Wow, I said that in a, a great way. With EPS 12 volt connectors with a dual eight pin. So that's, that's basically the cable is a dual eight pin, gives you, gives you the 12 VH PWR. But yeah, that's a, that's a great deal right there. Go for that. You don't need the side exit things. I'm sure at least to some nice cable management, I guess, depends on the case. I would go over the RM850E. Yeah, I'm going to say it. The warranty is not super competitive off the, off the bat. A one year parts warranty, zero disrespect to iBuyPower because iBuyPower definitely has a massive and important place in the industry, but they're not a boutique builder, right? They cover parts for one year. You're not really standing out there with that. Lifetime labor is cool. That is cool. Now, what the heck does that mean? Bray, what do they mean? One year parts, but lifetime labor. Well, that means if your PC, if it's been a year and a week, and your power supply dies. Well, you can then pay to ship the system to them, pay for a new power supply, but they will not charge you a penny for labor to do all that cable, undo all the cable management, redo all their cable management, pack the thing back up, and then you pay shipping back to you. So you do save money, that's lifetime labor. Okay, and then there's other stuff, other cool stuff. Of course, they have Corsair. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What is this doing here? Does Elgato know? Do they know that like you got a competing company's webcam here? Shouldn't this be like the face cam pro? I don't know, man. I'm just saying that's a little weird. You know what I mean? It's just a little bit weird. There's one last thing I want to look at here, but I got to say this thing, this thing would have, I mean, yeah, they could have, they, it, it's starting out with a 4060. So yeah, DLSS 3.0, all of the, uh, you know, NVIDIA broadcast, all that stuff. You're getting all those features, 1080p gaming. This thing is set up for, for, for high quality 1080p gaming. That's kind of eh for 1700 bucks, but I did show you guys that just like a hundred bucks more gives you a massive upgrade in GPU. Going to 6700 XT, you can do that. There was one last thing I wanted to look at here, okay? Built for creators. Guys, what do I say? What do I say when you put a label on something? If you're gonna say it's for creators, it had better be up to snuff. Don't ignore the motherboard. Don't ignore the RAM capacity. Don't ignore storage. Let's see what we got. So this is starting at 2236 with a 13600K. Guess what we're not seeing here, guys? No Fs, ain't no F in there. Why is that important? Well, I'll tell you why that's important. I'm glad you asked. If you have the IGPU that you get with a non F Intel processor, meaning 
not the 13600 KF, but a 13600 K as an example, that means you can use QuickSync. QuickSync is super great for video editing and coding. Yeah, so love to see that, already a good sign. Motherboard, ASUS RG Maxima Z790 Hero. This is what's in my Falcon Northwest PC that I use as a content creator. The IO on this thing is nuts. Kudos to you, Origin, for putting so much information here. But you could also just show a picture of the rear IO. I mean, that's, that's, just, that's just a JPEG. You can just throw that on there. But yeah, there you go. Tons of IO here, okay? You have two Thunderbolt 4 ports on this thing. You have a USB Type-C that is 20 gig. You can't tell because that says, this is, that's what that looks like. And then you have a bunch of high speed type A's, five of them to be exact, and four type A USB 3.0's. Big downside to this motherboard should have been a 10 gig, or at least a five. All of the features. Of course, you got your spadiff and your surround sound, yada, yada, whatever important stuff there. I think I decided which one I want to review. Like, I want to test the heck out of this thing. I kind of like what they did here. Instead of going with a faster Gen 4 one terabyte drive, they went with a two terabyte Gen 3 drive, but among the fastest Gen 3 drives you can get. Read speeds up to 3,500 megabyte per second. Sequential, sequential write speeds are up to 3,300 megabytes per second. That's at the upper limit of PCIe Gen 3. But having that two terabytes, there you go. Power supply is an RM750X, and the GPU that comes with it is the 4070. Okay, okay. Look, y'all know how much this motherboard costs? Did I even tell you that? Did I tell you how much this motherboard costs? This motherboard is like ranging here from $570 to $630, all right? Before y'all are like, well, it's over $2,000. It's got a 4070. It's a $600 motherboard. Get stop with those comments until you know the full story. I get that all the time. That is an expensive motherboard and it is, it could be a godsend for creators. I love it. This is awesome. All right. So I, I think that maybe at this price, the power supply could be better or higher wattage. And it totally can be because you can take seven bucks off and you don't need to get that. Uh, oh yeah, this RM850X is cheaper again for some reason. But if you go 6,000 mega transfer per second, you cannot go with 64 gigs in a two stick kit. This needs to be updated. This I don't like. Corsair, get, get that 6,000 MT, uh, 64 gig kit all tested out and solid because I will say 64 gigs at 56, uh, 5,600, it's not bad. That capacity is really what's important when it comes to your Premiere Pro, your Photoshop, all that. That does push the price up by 51 bucks, but guess what? You got 64 gigs of RAM, kid. You're good. This is with an H100i, so if you're gonna go with something like the uh, 13900K, I would upgrade the cooling. And you can upgrade to a 360 millimeter AIO for $40. Do that. You might want to just do it anyway in case you're going to do a uh, CPU upgrade of your own. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm impressed with the two systems I looked at, the Neuron and the M-Class Studio. I know the one I would want to test out would be the M-Class Studio as a creator. I know the one that would probably be more useful to my viewers would probably be the Neuron. But uh, I, I don't have a guarantee that we're going to get a test system, so... Uh, I'll just bug Kevin and I'll keep name dropping him in this video until he does. All right, that's going to wrap this one up. We really just looked at a couple of the PCs on Origin PC. Uh, there are a lot more. And of course, prices can go about as high as you want. You can go custom. You can go with one of their pre-configured ones. But there is a lot of options over there. And they've they've been in the game for a long time, a long time. So they do know what they're doing. So, uh, yeah, guys. If you want to check it out, I'll, I'll link the site in the description. I, of course, I, I don't have a, a discount code with them or anything, but, you know, maybe someday they'll join Operation Code Braithorn. Who knows? But uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. And until the next one, take care.